So yeah, um, I noticed about half of you guys unsubscribed to my channel and that is a huge sin to me. So yeah, if you guys are watching this video, please, please, please help me support the channel by actually liking this video, subscribing and also hitting the shiny notification bell. So hey guys, welcome back to Calvivo and today we're actually going to be discussing a topic that has been very much risen and very much crazed about in the Adopt Me community. So as you can tell from the title of the video, we are going to be discussing why is the value of the giraffe decreased and why has the value of the bad dragon rise? So I am once again here to clear up a conspiracy or contraption that has confused the many players of Adopt Me, even myself, in the past few weeks. I am not here in any shape, size or form to bring hate to a specific pet or person or trying to initiate a change in the pet value. But I'm actually here to provide a theoretical perspective on the ongoing situation by gathering my personal data, background information, and thorough investigation and research. So I'm so sorry if this video sounds like a Zoom lecture or an online lecture, but partially it is. So here we go. So this entire bonanza actually came into the Adopt Me community starting the last few weeks. At least that's what I noticed. And it has stirred some form of frenzy in the community where people are literally freaking out to get rid of the giraffes and they're literally trading anything to get their hands off the giraffe in exchange for a bad dragon. And that is not okay, it's partially ridiculous to me because both still hold very very strong value. It's just there's a significant shift in logistics. Like I'm just really being honest and I'm gonna explain that. However, I do understand why the value of the bad dragon has risen all of a sudden. Now to back up my very opinionated and also very very controversial statement, I will be actually backing up my point by revisiting the historical background of the two discussed pets. So firstly, um, for you seasonal Adopt Me players watching this video, it may be simple facts to you, but it adds up on the overall thesis. So first up, the elephant in the room, the giraffe. Um, ironically, there was an elephant in the safari egg, but that's not the point. So yeah. The giraffe, okay, so it was released on July 9th of 2019. So it could only be hatched from a safari egg, which was at that time the first themed egg. When I mean themed egg, I mean gumball machine egg in the game amidst the release of the pet update. Now, the giraffe was the first and the only legendary pet that you could hatch from this egg, and it had a hatch rate of 3%. Um, I don't know if that's, I think that's pretty, that's pretty low. Um, it's similar to the Aussie eggs. I'm not 100% sure. I am going to have to do my research on that. So please don't come at me. So moving on to the other elephant in the room, we have the Bat Dragon. And it was one of the four pets obtainable through the Halloween 2019 collection. So yeah, it was only obtainable via purchasing with the seasonal in-game currency at the time, which was candy and it cost 180,000 candy which was equivalent to 500 robux at that time pretty darn expensive now enough of history lessons 101 and let's move on to the main point let us look at both similarities now both pets were obtainable via in-game currency now let me explain myself a bit meaning that you did not have to buy robux in order to earn the currency such as the AMC which is the always in-game currency which is the basically adopt me cash and the bad dragon was obtainable via candy and candy was a seasonal currency but you could get it by playing mini games okay so this is where most people get confused and even myself in the first place I was asking myself if I could get a bad dragon just by purchasing it doesn't that mean that it makes the giraffe rarer because I could only hatch it and get it by luck? Many people are under the assumption that you have to hatch the giraffe with a 3% rate, thus by pure luck making it rarer in comparison to the bat dragon which was obtainable through a single purchase with candy which was also a in-game currency. Ironically, this is true for the most part, but in the present, as in the current moment, giraffes are still obtainable via trading and also safari eggs. Safari eggs are still obtainable via trading and can also be hatched with the chance of still getting a giraffe. So evidently, I have seen YouTubers hatching safari eggs and you can see some of them even hatching giraffes. And in fact, some of them even hatch more than one giraffe from hatching safari eggs that was obtainable through trading. This creates an inflation effect where the quantity of giraffes in the game will be higher through hatching 
thus reducing its overall rarity because of its increased quantity. In the current time, once again, you could not hatch or purchase a bat dragon anymore except via trading. Unlike the giraffe, which could be traded and hatched, thus supporting the evidence that the bat dragon is still rarer. Now, at this point, it may sound that I am biased towards the bat dragon and that I am, you know, somewhat spiting the value of the giraffe. However, I am only speaking from a basic logical view. Now, once again, this theory or argument supports the reason why some pets like the frost dragon is rarer than egg pets like egg pets as in, I mean, hatchable egg pets like the owl or the parrot. Now, there has been claims saying that the giraffe left the game earlier, you know, than the bat dragon. But once again, I'm revolving back to the theory of the eggs. But, I would say that both still have the same value. It all depends on opinion. Personally, I look at the logistics and I will obviously pay more for a bat dragon. Um, not only because of that, I also believe that it's also my personal opinion and preference. Yes, I prefer the Halloween 2019 pets. But the moral of the story is, to those traders and adopt me players out there, please, please, please do not insist your offer is great just because the value of the giraffe has so-called decreased. Yes, it is true to some extent, but logically the value of the giraffe is still very high and will still be very high. And it is a pet that is heavily appreciated by many in the game and the community. So yeah, please don't hate me guys and yeah, I love you guys. So um, this theory was actually suggested to me by my dear friend um, lol underscore uh, lord, lol underscore adopt me underscore lol on Instagram and I've also done personal research and observation in the field of study. So yeah, um, thanks so much to lol um, lol adopt me lol for actually suggesting this theory to me. I think this is actually a very logical theory and it also speaks on the basis of facts. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Um, I will be doing another one in the nearby future if I don't get hate on this video. I will feel all the giraffe the giraffe stands coming at me. But once again, I'm not condemning or spiting the value of the giraffe. The giraffe value is still high, but I'm logically speaking, the bad dragon has increased because of logistics like this. We think about it logically, you know. That's why the bad dragon value has increased. And partially, you know, some people may still pay more for a giraffe. I totally understand that because giraffes are still a very, very valuable and also it is a still very highly appreciated and valued pet. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.